When faced with a problem requiring your judgment, where do you start? Do you make an immediate decision or take pause? Might you ask more questions or seek more information prior to deciding? Can an example of a similar situation help you decide? Does seeking the help of others work for you? What is it you do prior to reaching your decision? Perhaps you don't ponder your decision process each time. If you deconstruct your process, you may realize you are using a framework. Merriam-Webster's Collegiate Dictionary defines a framework as a basic conceptual structure, as of ideas. We use frameworks in everything, from extensive software systems, to critical thinking processes, to solving complex social, legal, and ethical issues. Frameworks help us identify components, methods, concepts, and processes we use to solve problems. Frameworks help us break down problems into distinct parts and remove some complexity of getting to solutions. Tightly structured frameworks provide direct guidance. Other looser frameworks allow for a broader range of concepts to come into play. One example of a framework in technology is a software framework. Wikipedia defines a software framework this way. In computer programming, a software framework is an abstraction in which software providing generic functionality can be selectively changed by additional user-written code, thus providing application-specific software. It provides a standard way to build and deploy applications and is a universal, reusable software environment that provides particular functionality as part of a larger software platform to facilitate development of software applications, products, and solutions. That's a lot of jargon, but if you peel back all the technical vernacular, you'll see the framework as a concept or process of using pieces of software and changing or adding others to generate a solution. The software framework emerges from mixing and matching pieces for other problems or applications. Brown University's Science and Technology Studies program identifies another example of a framework, this time for ethical problems rather than software development. They offer three different frameworks for approaching ethical problems. Their program suggests three broad frameworks to guide ethical decision making the consequentialist framework, the duty framework, and the virtue framework. The consequentialist framework approach focuses on producing the most good by looking at the effects of the actions and the people involved. This pragmatic approach is desirable in situations when the problem involves many and it is clear some people will benefit while others will not. The duty framework approach, as put forward by Brown University, shifts the focus from producing the most good to looking at duties and obligations. The goal with this approach is to do the right thing. While this approach focuses on duties and the right thing, it can be rigid and ignore personal situations. Brown's virtue framework approach centers its focus on what kind of person should I be? and considers the results of one's actions on their character. This approach asks what a virtuous person would do in the situation. Yet another example of an ethical decision framework comes from the Markula Center for Applied Ethics at Santa Clara University. The center offers a framework for ethical decision making through a five-step process which includes ten questions in five steps. They call one to recognize an ethical issue, get the facts, test alternative actions, decide and test it, and act and reflect on the outcome. They base these five steps and corresponding questions on five of the sources of ethical standards I mentioned in the Ethical Perspectives Overview. One last example of a framework is one I developed using many sources including the Markula Center piece. My framework combines ethical perspective, technology concepts and questions, 
to examine ethical issues in computing. This framework lays out an 11-step approach when working through challenging ethical issues involving technology. The framework draws from the Markle Center example, the Ethics Lab at Georgetown University, resources from Stanford University, and from ideas from Sarah Basse and her text, A Gift of Fire, Social, Legal, and Ethical Issues for Computing Technology. Rather than ask specific questions, this model emphasizes various categories and concepts related to assessing ethical issues. Ethical issues are not straightforward, and correct actions are often not apparent. We can think of frameworks as foundational elements to provide support and guidance when working through issues. We might think of frameworks as giving us some foundational footing to begin with problems. Rather than starting from scratch in quicksand, a framework can help us start off on the right foot and help us eliminate some noise surrounding our problem. Besides a foundation, frameworks can provide tools to dissect and isolate problems. Frameworks offer concepts, ideas, questions, and specific actions to assist us. You might ask, are there any specific frameworks for working with digital media ethical issues? A Google search will yield several examples of digital media ethics frameworks. Many of these frameworks put forward ideas and questions specific to digital media areas such as journalism. In Ethics for a Digital Era, the authors, Elliot and Spence, use a framework. With their framework, they seek to show how this conceptual framework allows for the examination and evaluation of the ethics of the ongoing convergence of old and new media at the fundamental level of the ethics of information. We'll learn more about their framework when we discuss the news media. For now, let's be aware there are several frameworks we can use as a resource as we tackle sticky problems. As I mentioned earlier, frameworks can work at a broad level while including specifics. We can look for tool sets within frameworks to help us further break down complex issues. These tools often come in the form of specific questions to consider. I encourage you to draw from existing frameworks and build your own framework that works best for you. I will help you with ideas and tools along the way.